Um, hi and welcome to my What RuneScape, my response to YNAMNA's What RuneScape Needs video. Um, I'm just going to talk about a few topics that Jagex needs to, you know, take into consideration. So, here we go. Alright, first off, they need to totally rework the skill capes. They need to make the school, they need to make the skill cape emotes, like thieving, fire making, farming, herb lore, all of the ones that are short and not as cool as the other ones, they need to totally rework those and make them decent. Because, you know, stuff like farming and herb lore, they take way too long to get to 99. They take way too much money. Or herb lore does, anyway. So, yeah, they need to improve on those. Uh, fire making and fletching. They're not the most impressive 99s, but they, they could do a lot more with that. Y you can even... Yeah. Slayer takes forever to get to 99. They definitely need to rework that. And and I'm not criticizing anybody. I'm not criticizing the Jagex staff, because I know th they're not supermen, but still, <clears throat> they, they do a lot for the game, and they could do so much more, in my opinion. Alright, next subject. They need to make new spell books. Or a s new spell book. Now the spells in this new spell book, um, I would think they could be more nature based. <clears throat> like, you know, I mean, I'm not very creative when it comes to stuff like RuneScape, but yeah, they could definitely make a new spell book, I would imagine. Uh, I think it'd be pretty cool since it's like it's been the same three spell books for, for many, many years, but yeah. Anyway, uh, yeah, so, new spell books, spell book, whatever. For many games, they need to, um, shorten the waiting time. Now, uh, I'm gonna go into Castle Wars with this right now. In Castle Wars, if you wanna join the game, I think that 20 minutes is far too long. I think 10 minutes or less is plenty of time to click on a portal. As for Soul Wars, the biggest time waster, I have wasted hours just standing around waiting to be entered into the game. <coughs> Which is really unfair on my behalf to just sit there. Like right now, I had to go on the losing team because it would not because I was standing in the red team for ten minutes trying to get into the game. So instead of getting three zeal, I'm going to get one because of that issue. Take that. So yeah. For example, there is no wait for clan wars really. But uh I mean sure there is kind of a wait, but still. They need to make it to where the special PvP armor, like, um, um, uh, Morrigan and Zoriel and those other two, whatever they're called, um, do not degrade. I mean, if you spend millions of coins on that armor, it should not degrade after an hour. It should last forever. Now, if you get it corrupted, now if it become, if you get it corrupted, <clears throat> then yeah, I do think it should probably break. But um, no, I think they could just like tie it in with Barrow's armor. Like, it just degrades in amounts of 25, and you can just repair it like you do Barrow's armor with at Bob or with a player on armor stand or something like that. Uh, so yeah, I think that we should be able to buy charms instead of having to having to kill monsters. We should be able to just buy charms. Now I know what some of you are gonna think. You're gonna think, oh, well, Zach, that takes all of the training out of summoning. Don't care. 
that it needs to be done. Because it just... So, I know so many more people would have 99 summoning, and it wouldn't be as an impressive of a skill. But they could still put a price on charms, for crying out loud. Like, gold charms are 100 each, maybe. Um, reds are 500, blue are 1,000, or 750, or something like that. And greens are two to 300. And yeah, you can still get them as drops from monsters. But still, yeah, this, I mean, I would definitely have a higher summoning level if I could get more charms. I'm not saying that summoning should be overall cheaper than it is, because I know it costs several hundred millions of GP. And that's another issue. It should not cost nearly that much to get anything leveled up. Because at one point in summoning, you know, it just costs millions of GP to get one level up. So, um, anyway, those are those are some ideas that Jagex could try to improve the game. I doubt they will ever, anybody from Jagex will ever watch this video, but, yeah, you never know. See ya.